addressed would be parent-child interactions. You want to eliminate parent-child interactions. You can only do a verbal cue if both of you agree that this is something that you wish to do together. You cannot impose a verbal cue on your partner, and you shouldn't try to do this because that's parenting, right? You will do this. No, uh, no, I won't. Um, so you agree that you want to uh, identify parenting and for childlike behavior. And then you agree with what words you're going to be using for that behavior uh, so that you can cue that person, what that cue's words are. And then you figure out who's going to use the cue. You sort of go through what the hypothetical situations would be, and then what is the response. I'm going to give you a, um, um, a non-parenting uh, example just because it, uh, it's easy to understand. My husband gets uh, easily agitated. He has the emotional um, an emotionality of many people with ADHD. Um, and when he gets agitated, our old way of doing things was that he would, that I would get agitated with him. I would take the bait and he started to respond. And it really didn't go very well, ever. Uh, and so we set up a cue. And the first time we set up this cue, we agreed that the cue would be, I think you're getting agitated, can you calm down? And then his response would be to stop and to calm down. And then, uh, and then we would start the conversation over again, right? So we tried this and it didn't work because when I said, I think you're getting agitated, he's like, I'm not getting agitated. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so in a calmer moment, then we said, huh, okay, well, so we tried it and it didn't work. We need to modify it. And we thought about it and I thought, you know, once you start to get your emotions going up, it's really hard to, uh, to not feel like, not to escalate, right? It's, it's difficult. It's hard. So we needed something that was much more identifiable as uh, this is a verbal cue. This is what we agreed to before. Okay, so we changed the word that we're using to aardvark. Yeah. Because who says aardvark in a conversation, really, right? So that's one of those, this is a verbal cue. Okay, fine. So now we use aardvark. I use the cue. What's the response that he calms down? Because he knows it's a cue, right? Not that I'm trying to boss him around or be his parent or anything else. No, I'm doing this thing that we agreed to. And then, his, and then we don't need to modify it anymore because it actually works. Now, you know, so I say aardvark, and he's like, hmm. 